So what's your history with uh, Freedom Hand with Boyden? How did you guys meet? Um, well, obviously many, many, many moons ago, Boyden was coming to all the shows, etc. And, and um, Boyden being the outgoing type that he is, we got chatting and he was always, everyone liked him for some weird reason. Um, taking a fit out of his cap, but um, <laughs> no, and then we got chatting and, and I don't know how we landed up talking about Thundercats and I was like, oh, I've got all these Thundercats and I've got the tank and the liner and all the characters and everything and he was like, cool, I'll shave a mohawk for you if uh, you give me a Thundercats. Jeez, that's like quite a, yeah. quite a trade. And so he, he did this huge hawk, like when I say huge, it was, it was big and blue and black. Like so a classic like bad, Berlin pump. But like but cones, like full on cones. Oh wow. Yeah, in exchange for Thundercats. Um, and yeah, and he was just, he was coming here on stage when he could. And that's right, because people with like really long hair that are quite trying to think it's a really good idea. Oh, and imagine okay. waking up the next morning and like, oh, fuck's my hair gone. Or they've got this really sick hawk or whatever. So we've always, Boyden's always just been in the scene. He's always. He's like, you asking me about punk when I'm really not sure. Because I was still listening to like Alpha Bull and UB40 and stuff when we started. Hey man, we've all got our sins. Whereas he's always been the punk rocker, I suppose. Um, so yeah, and I think without blowing smoke up his ass, he's gone from strength to strength and he's, his dreams are reality, you know. He's created his own freedom, I suppose. Yeah. What does freedom mean to you? Um, for me, it's about not having to answer to anyone for your actions. But, having said that, it's not about just doing anything you want to do, it's being conscious of what's around you, what can really make a difference. So it's anarchy within reason? Yeah, there has to be, there has to be chaos, I suppose, but it's a, an orchestrated chaos, whether it's your, without sounding like too deep, or chaos inside and what you, like the boundaries you want to push, or it's, um, you know, chaos in a group or a, a movement. And it tingles your tongue and it fucking tastes like hot wine. Yeah, but it's, you, you know my story about that. That's so beautiful. Uh, we were selling for it. Well, that's it for you guys. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Malcolm yeah. makes the oil. Does Freedom Day mean something to you? Uh, I don't want to jump on the bandwagon and go like, yeah, oh, geez, the struggle was real for me and it was so tough and stuff. But we hopefully singing and, and you know, lyrics that people can question on those things. That's what songs are about, you know, year through. Throughout the year, that's what they're about. Hey Joburg, it's Malcolm Rockwell from Fuzzy Gish, and you are watching In the Chair with Freedom Hair. Yeah.